This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record, 12 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Endicott, New York, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the challenger, John Bones Jones! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record. Four losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting our Cura team of Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed light heavyweight champion, Mauricio Chocolate. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're gonna have a clean fight. Touch gloves, make it official. Shogun and Jones are main event of the evening for the light heavyweight title. Trunks for Jones, head kick. White trunks for Shogun. Right away, Jones opens up wide. Creative, unorthodox. This but it also can leave you exposed. Sick takedown. And what Shogun likes to do is dive under Mike and get an underhook on the opposite leg. He's got half guard on the right leg of John Jones. If Jones can get in position, his elbows are lethal. See him diving under? See him looking under? Look for him to attack with leg locks. Very good with a submitted Kevin Randall and a very powerful wrestler with a brutal leg lock. He's throwing legs up looking for a triangle. It's going to be very hard to do with the height and reach of Jones. He's pushing that arm through. Perhaps could switch it to an overclocked if the arm goes across. Tricky bottom game here by Shogun. Shogun has to be careful of these chokes by Jones, though. Jones got a hold of his neck here. If he clasps those hands together, he could be problems for Shogun. Jones finished Ryan Bader with the guillotine choke. And Jake O'Brien put him to sleep as well. Shogun has to look out for the elbows. There it is. He comes from such great angles with such force with those elbows. Well, he's got so much leverage because of his length. And he's pressing Shogun up here, up against the cage. And Shogun again, looking at the legs of John Jones. He's going to want to duck under. See how he, notice how he reaches with that underhook? That's what he wants to do. He wants to kick his hips under and dive under those legs, and in which time he will either try to sweep, like right here he's trying to sweep, he's coming at the base of John Jones. Jones is so strong. Stay on the eyes. He will try to sweep, or he will try to switch to a leg lock. Shogun Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt after only four years. Jones 12 and one in his MMA career. The elbow. Title fight scheduled for five five minute rounds. I guarantee you that Shogun, for the last six weeks, has been working off of his back unquestionably. Knew that he was probably going to get taken down by this great wrestler. Jones just simply looking to overpower the light heavyweight champion. Don't Under two the in the round. The
to the body. Nice knee with the knee. Another right hand kicks. Another side kick to the knee. What a start for Jones. Jones looks like he's a full weight class bigger than Shogun. By Shogo. Nice right hand by Shogo. And a nice left hook by Shogo. He's going to dive under for a leg lock, and he locks the position. Very bad. Under 30 seconds. I think he just headbutted into the stomach. I think he did. Fifteen. Big first round for the challenger. Vicious. And he's just having his way with Shogun. Round two. Against one of the most dangerous men on the planet. Check. Man, he's so forceful. That teep to the face. Anderson Silva White. Silva finished the fight against Belfort. Big wind up by Shogun there, telegraphed it, and John just ducked right out of the way. Pushing forward. Shogun is just too slow, though. You know, when he's coming in, he's lunging in with these punches. He looks already exhausted. And this is a five-round fight. And Jones is taking a lot out of Shogun early. Keeping him at distance with that left hand. Again to the body. Shogun's again trying to dive under. 
He's got that half guard. John Jones is not allowing it. Nice short elbow again from Jones. And a lot of pressure with that left arm on the neck of Ua. Working from half guard. Jones consistent but also patient with his ground and pound. He knows the talents of Hua on his back. And he's so confident right now too, Mike. He's, he's really having his way with Shogun. And because of that, he's not getting tired despite the moment that it being such a huge event for him. He's fine with it all. Takes a look up at the clock. His work. And now Shogun's trying to dive under with that underhook, but it's so hard to do. He can strike the draw, not the nut. With work. Jones had Shogun in trouble early, and he's continued to apply the pressure. He's beat Shogun's face up here. Nice elbow to the body. It's two rounds in the books for John Jones. And Joe, if he had any doubt, that dropped down for a leg lock. Coming in, man. They left his mind with the way he started this. Shogun and Jones. Shogun's got to try to find a way to keep this on the feet and land something. On the ground, he has nothing. Jones is just too big, too strong. Through the late kick and got taken down in round two. His face is slowly becoming a swollen mess. Uppercut, followed by the hook. Round three. Title fight. Just missed with a head kick. Now Shogun. Again, he dives for those legs. This is where Shogun can be very dangerous. Yeah, and almost got him on his back. Isn't it funny? John Jones was almost in a bad position. He's got a Kimura attempt here. Shogun's in a lot of trouble if he can yank that up. Boys. I mean, this is just the story of every John Jones fight. Greco Roman All American, junior college national wrestling champion. He was recruited to wrestle at Iowa State. And he has tossed around some of the finest wrestlers in MMA. Just needed a 